The Auburn fire near Rapid City has burned almost a thousand acres tonight as crews try to contain the flames as fast as they can. Take a look at this map. It shows how much the fire has burned so far along the Meade and Pennington County lines. Kettle Land Sydney Thorson joins us now from the Incident Command Center with the very latest on the firefighting efforts. Good evening, Sydney. Good evening. With temperatures warming up and winds blowing faster, the firefighters here on the Auburn Fire are working tirelessly to get things under control. From helicopters and planes to fire trucks and hoses, these firefighters are doing everything they can to get the Auburn Fire contained. So today's operation is just to continue to um, work on strengthening those lines, work on holding those lines, and um, mopping up. Uh, mopping up is just extinguishing hot spots near the fire perimeter. Since yesterday afternoon, crews from across the Black Hills have been fighting the Auburn fire. As you can see behind me, quite a bit of damage has already been done. Evacuations and pre evacuations are still in place. We did a lot of pre evacuation notifications, uh, like in the Weston Heights area and the Peterson Ranch Road area, to assist Meade County in making sure that those residents are safe and, and know what's going on. In Meade County, just outside of Rapid City, Sheriff Ron Merwin says people should be ready to evacuate in case the fire grows. People should still be ready to go if they need to be. Those evacuations could come quick if they need to be. Um, at this point, we're hoping not to have to do that, but just be ready if need be. If the weather does cooperate and all goes well, the current evacuations and pre-evacuations could be lifted within the hour. So we continue to be uh, near uh, critical uh, fire weather. Um, conditions today will be pretty similar to what they were yesterday, uh, maybe even a little warmer today. Fire officials say that the weather today and tomorrow will play a big role while fighting the Auburn fire. One firefighter did suffer a minor injury. So far, no homes or structures have been damaged. Reporting live near Rapid City, Sydney Thorson, Kelloland News. Okay, thanks you. Thank you very much, Sydney.